six digit up and you slow down a little bit. Yeah. When possible, change to the left hand. Can you remove the indicator? Whenever you're ready, I would like you to reverse the vehicle in a straight line. Okay. I'm gonna tell you when to stop. Okay. Or maybe stop when you think you need to. Okay. Stop, stop, stop. See, can you see the car? Yeah. Yeah, you have to wait when there's a car coming. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. In this mock test driving video, Swati drives around Kasodine driving test center as she prepares for her upcoming driving test. The mock test will include the following. Pre-test questions, driving, free maneuvers, and feedback at the end of the mock test. If you are new to the channel, consider subscribing for more driving related videos. You can have a quick read at this page um, and then when, once you're done we'll be going. This one right, I watched in one of your videos you said that even though you have it, you don't have to really, really look at it but you can have a, just a glimpse. Like. Does it say reversing camera on there? Alarm park assist. Okay, you don't have to do park assist. So there's no but, reversing camera on, oh, okay. on this. Yeah. Okay, I thought it's just it's, uh, it's GP, talking about GPS. Um, ah, okay, got it. Speed alarm park assist. Those. Uh, the, okay, but the speed alarm. I think it in, it's inbuilt for us. I'm not using our car. So, but okay. you have to turn off. There is a okay. if you have a speed alarm, it okay. should be able to have a, an option to turn off that. Oh, okay, yeah. So, if you're using a car with speed alarm, yeah. but if you're using a driving instructor's car, mm -hmm. then they'll usually they'll, uh -huh. they'll turn it off. Okay, do you want to raise the seat up a little bit? Oh, yeah, yeah. absolutely. How do I do that? There is a lever on the side, you can like pump it up. Maybe remove your seat belt for first. Um, yeah, so use that pump up, 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 keep going, more, more, yeah, that's it, okay, okay. good. Now, if you, if you are feel like you are very close, you can move it, but yeah, if it's comfortable, it's okay. Yeah, yeah, it's Yeah. Alright, so, like I say, this is gonna go on for about 30 minutes, yeah. okay? Um, when we're driving the road down the road, and I'm not giving you any directions, where are you supposed to go? Go straight. Yes. Yeah, so follow, follow the, the road, road. Yeah. or maybe you might need to look out for road markings or road signs. Okay. okay. But if I'm not saying anything, you just follow the road. Okay. But otherwise, I'm gonna say turn right, turn left. Um, in this mock test, we're gonna do one or two maneuvers. Okay. Okay. So whenever you're ready. Put the car in pre-ignition but don't start the engine so just turn the key until the the car gets to pre-ignition but don't start the engine oh this is the engine is it turn off turn off so just turn until the dashboard lights comes on okay, okay. indicate the left which one is indicated this one? this one is this one yeah Your side yeah oh. Oh, no. the left okay. yeah Indicate the right and then turn off. Okay, foot off of the brakes, foot on the brakes again. Okay, and then beep the horn. Okay, that's fine. Whenever you're ready, you can start the engine, please. Okay, so I'm gonna ask you maybe like uh, two, three questions about the car. At the start of the mock test, I asked Swati some pre-test questions. Some of them she got them correct 
and others she had no idea. How do you turn on the front windscreen wipers? So how do you turn it on so that it stays on? Stays on? Yeah. Car, so. What do you do in your car? It automatically adjusts. So you don't know how to to, to manually turn on the. Mm. Okay, your chair should move it down. Okay, that's fine. You can switch it off. Um, and then how about the back windscreen wipers? The rear windscreen wipers. You change this setting? You can do it. I mean, you're under mock test conditions, so okay. I can't really give you much help. You're gonna... Yeah. Okay, that's fine. You can turn it off. Hazard lights. This one. Okay, that's fine. Headlights and high beams. So mm -hmm. I think the headlights are already on, so yeah. you can turn them off first. Mm -hmm. Or completely off. And then turn them on again, headlights and high beams. This is high beam, right? Hmm? No. You need to press it or something? Okay, so you need to push it forward. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's good. Alright, that's fine. You can switch off the the high beams. You can leave the headlights on because of the weather. Okay. Just keep the headlights on. Just the small one? The second yeah? one. That's the parking lights. Oh. The second one. Okay. So whenever you're ready, you can move off. Are the mirrors okay, by the way? Yeah. Right there. Okay. Yeah. So when you're ready, you can turn left. Okay. At the start of the mock test, Swati needed a little bit of help to understand where the gears are as she has never driven this car before. This is not a driving error. Is this auto? Auto um, car? Yeah, it's automatic car. Okay. So drive is actually this one. Okay. So this is manual, yeah? And um, that's the yeah the lower gears. Um, so in your car you have the something similar as well. Okay. Yeah. Swati moves off very well, carries out all the necessary observations, and also uses the correct indicator. And then turn right, please. Good right turn. And then turn left. Yeah. Good left turn. And then turn left again. Again, Swati does a good left turn. At the end of the street, there is a sign and marking which shows that we can only go left. Swati recognizes this and turns left. She also does well to enter the left lane and speed up and does a good match. At the roundabout, turn left to take the first exit. At the roundabout, I asked Swati to turn left and she carries out all the necessary observations and also uses the correct indicator. After turning left, the left lane ends. Swati recognizes this and merges to the right. You just move this wipers up. Good speed management on this road.
at the traffic lights, use the left lane to turn right. Traffic lights, use the left lane to yep. turn right. Good observations before changing lane. Put the windscreen again. Okay. Good right hand. The next set of traffic lights, turn left. Correct lane choice for turning left. Also, Swati does a good left turn. Coming up is Swati first critical driving error. We are driving on a road which has a speed limit of 70 km per hour, and Swati does well to recognize the sign and also to speed up. However, because of roadways, the speed limit drop from 70 to 60 and Swati does not see the sign and also does not slow down. So I had to ask her to slow down. You see this 60 here, you need to slow down a little bit. Coming up is Swati's second critical driving error. I ask Swati to change to the left lane and she does a good lane change. However, she forgets to remove the indicator and we are going straight. Because there is a car on the left, this is going to cause confusion because they're going to think that we are turning left. So I had to ask her to turn off the indicator. This is a critical driving error. When possible, change to the left lane. The left lane is about to end and Swati recognizes this and does a good merge to the right. Coming up is Swati third critical driving error. When safe to do so, change to the middle lane. When changing lane, we have to respect the two seconds rule, but Swati changes lane and gets very close to the front car. This is a critical driving error. And then when safe to do so, change to the far right lane. This time around, Swati does a good lane change. Then you can go to the right lane again. We are going right at the traffic lights. Correct lane choice for turning right. When going through the traffic lights and we are the first vehicle to go through, we have to look both sides. Swati does not check. She does a good right turn and follows her lane. Good speed management on this road. When possible, change to the right lane. When changing lane, we have to check our mirrors, indicate, 
and also do a shoulder check before moving the steering wheel. Swati indicates check the mirror but she moves the steering wheel before doing a shoulder check. This is a non-critical driving error. At the traffic lights, turn right. At the traffic lights, turn right. Correct lane choice for turning right. Also, Swati does a good right turn. Good speed management on this road. Okay, I'm gonna get you to um, pull over on the left when you're ready, please. Whenever you're ready, I would like you to reverse the vehicle in a straight line. Okay. I'm gonna tell you when to stop. Okay. Or maybe stop when you think you need to. Okay. Yeah, so whenever you're ready. Before starting a straight line reverse, Swati does well to carry out all around observations. While doing this maneuver, Swati makes two critical driving errors. The first critical driving error is that she does not physically look behind when reversing in a straight line. The second critical driving error is there is a vehicle approaching from behind and Swati does not stop. When reversing, we have to stop for any vehicle stop, stop. approaching from behind. Yeah. yeah, you have to wait when there's a car coming. When you're ready, you can move off and take the first road on your right. After completing the maneuver, Swati moves off very well, uses the correct indicator, and also carries out all the necessary observations. So take the first road on your right. Okay. Well done giving way to this oncoming vehicle. Also, Swati does a good right turn. I would like you to do a reverse parallel park behind this car. I ask Swati to do a reverse parallel park behind this vehicle and she does well to indicate and also stop at the correct distance from the vehicle. Before starting a reverse parallel park, we have to check our mirrors and blind spots. Swati does not check, which is a critical driving error.
She does end up finishing the reverse parallel park after doing multiple adjustments. Okay. When you're done, you can put the kind park and handbrake on. When move off when you're ready. After finishing the reverse parallel park, Swati moves off very well, uses the correct indicator, and also carries out all the necessary observations. Before starting a U-turn, we have to indicate early so that other drivers know our intention. Swati only indicates once she was already at the intersection, which is a non-critical driving error. Swati does well to give way to approaching vehicles before starting the U-turn and also complete the U-turn in one movement. management on this road. Good left turn. Again Swati manages the speed well when driving on this road. At the traffic lights turn right. This time around, Swati carries out observations at the traffic lights and also does a good right turn. Good speed management on this road. At the roundabout, turn right. Take the third exit. At the roundabout, I ask Swati to go right and take the third exit. She chooses the correct lane, uses the correct indicator, and also scans through the roundabout. Halfway through the roundabout, the indicator turns off, but Swati does not turn it back on, which is a non-critical driving error.
After the roundabout, the two lanes form one lane and Swati does well to carry out observations. Good speed management on this road. And the traffic lights turn right. Correct lane choice for going right. Also, Swati does well to stop at the correct distance from the front vehicle. When the lights change to green, Swati does a good right turn. The left lane is about to end and Swati does well to carry out observations. Good speed management on this road. Well done stopping at the red light. Good left hand. And then go straight. When driving in the car park, we have to keep our speed as slow as possible. But Swati is driving a little bit too fast, so I had to ask her to slow down. This is a critical driving error. You can take the first lane, but once you 
I slow down a little bit, that's too close to the car park. Uh, left turn. We've come to the end of this mock test and it's now time I'm gonna for get you to park the car on the right hand side. Just give me a second, um, we're going to quickly go through this and then we will okay. finish out your place. You want me to turn it off? Um, yeah, you can turn it off, it's okay. You put your window down as well. The other one. Huh? Oh, the one that say auto. Okay, that's the end of the mock test. How do you think you went? Average. Average. So, do you think you, that if this was the actual test, do you think you would have passed, or no. why would you? Why, why would then you have passed? While reversing, when the car was coming, I did not stop. Mm -hmm. Reverse, parallel parking, or reversing. Yeah, just general reverse. I did not stop for the or give way for the other car to go. And generally speed management, I guess. I was too slow on some of that. I was trying to match up, but you know, I, I think. Is that fair if you go to slightly below the speed limit? Not slightly. I think I was too slow. I mean, in 30s, I thought. No? Why do you think so? Did you check your speedometer? Yeah, I was constantly checking. So was it slow? No, I was okay. Sometimes so why are you saying I, that? It, <laughs> sometimes I thought maybe I was not doing right in terms of speed. Okay. Still, I was not there at the right mark. But going going slightly over, uh, below the speed limit is yeah, it's, slightly it's not below a big is problem. good. Yeah, but not way below. I thought sometimes I was way too below the speed limit is what I thought, and other than that. So you know that exceeding, um, exceeding the speed limit is a critical driving error? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. yeah, so in your case, you have one, one, Did I exceed? two, um, three, four, and then five and then six so you, you have like about six critical errors oh my God. Okay. okay yeah uh, you're going on gimpy road you pass a 70 straight after the 70 there is a 60 kilometers per hour sign there so you can't you can't Continue doing 70. I, I should keep looking at this. I, I was in the same 70 mindset. I was yeah. thinking I should so keep There is at some roadworks going on there. Oh. So, yeah, you still need to obey that 70. Yeah. I'm sorry, 60. 60. Yeah. You, yeah. You're gonna make sure you're slowing down. You can't, yeah. So, you were doing like 65 in a 70 zone. Sorry, 60 zone. Yeah. So, yeah, that's a, that's a critical error. The second critical error will be up when I asked you to change lane mm -hmm. I said change to the left lane you left the indicator on for like 10 seconds oh, yeah. and extra. I had to ask you to remove it because it will confuse the other that car which was on the left they, they would start turning and you run into each other yeah, yeah. so after changing lanes yeah, remove the indicator yeah. okay that's, that's um, and then the third critical error is your straight line reverse when there is a vehicle approaching from behind you can't continue with the maneuver you have to pause the maneuver mm -hmm. so let them pass and then you can then resume okay, okay? Mm -hmm. so when you did you do that maneuver with your driving instructor 
straight line reverse. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, I do. What did your instructor say? Where should you look? Behind and front. Where where does most of your observations come from? I do that and uh, behind that mirror and behind. But where is the most of the of the observations coming from? Behind. Yeah, you need to look behind. Because it's see, like when you're driving forward, where do you look? Forward. Yeah, when you look, when you're reversing, you need to look back. Okay. Okay. And then you can glance at the mirror okay. just for a short period or quickly glance at the camera. But you were looking in the mirror most of the time. Okay. So that is a critical error. Oh, okay. You have you to look, look at the rear more, okay. more, most of the time. You can use the mirror, yes, just briefly, but you need to show that you can reverse looking through the rear okay yeah um reverse parallel park before you start what are you supposed to do indicator yes so indicator and to stop and then you stop the car and then what do you do after that you have to check all the sides you check know, your mirrors, mirrors and, and then the checks and yeah. then you go home yeah because when I asked you to do that, you got caught up into the reverse parallel parking. You just thought about, oh, I need to get this right. And you just didn't check, shoulder check. Okay. Um, so that, again, is a critical error because you need to check, show the check. mirror, 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 shoulder check. And also maybe look behind once and then you start your maneuver. Okay. Yeah. Um, then the last critical error is when you're changing lanes, you are doing a shoulder check, but your shoulder check is late. So it's actually a minor mistake, but because you repeated it too many times, it, it becomes a critical error. Okay. Um, so first you put the indicator, when you're changing the lane, you do the shoulder check, right? Yeah, so you have to... So for you, what you are doing, you are here, you indicating, you checking your mirror, and then you move in the car, and then you show the checking. So you need to indicate while it's still in this lane, mirror, indicate, mirror, while it's still in this lane, show the check while it's still in this lane, and then if it's safe, you can then move the car. So you are doing a shoulder check while the car is already in the oh, lane, okay. so that's late. Um, and we repeated that about four times, so that's why it becomes a critical error. Okay, now the mi some minor errors will be like, uh, does not indicate to change to the left lane. So when we started the, the mock test, there was a time we were going left at the traffic lights. Uh -huh. you, indi you were like, you, you put in the indicator, yeah. but you're not <laughs> really moving it up yeah. enough. So yeah, you like just make sure you bring it on. Yeah. Um, actually, this one I'm also going to mark it as a critical error. When you change lane once on Gimpy Road, you were a little bit too close to the front vehicle. How many seconds are we supposed to be? Two seconds. We... Yeah, and in wet weather? Sorry? In wet weather, if it's wet like wet. today. Three or four? Yeah, four. double that. Double so double that was four. less than two, even you were doing like less than two seconds. So that's a critical driving error. Um, yeah. So make sure that yeah, you, you, you have to leave enough space um, when you're changing lanes. U10, you did a good U10 actually, but your indicator was a little bit late. You need to indicate before you start. And then with the roundabout in Chermside West, mm -hmm. you indicate right to turn right and you go halfway through and then you remove the indicator. Are you done with the right hand? Not fully. Okay. Yeah, so you need to leave the indicator, right indicator, all the way. And then, and then when you're ready to leave the roundabout, then left. You okay. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you removed it and then you kept going. So that would kind of confuse people in, on the other side. Okay. When you're braking, you have to watch this mirror for a little bit. Okay. Yeah. So you have a few things to work on, but yeah, you, okay. you are on the, on the way. Just need more practice. Okay. okay. All right, cool. Any questions? Yeah, a lot of 
I'll watch, I can actually give this to you. I'll, I'm probably I'm, just, I'm gonna be the one taking the photo, and then I'm gonna give it to you. Uh, okay, if there is one thing that you want me to work on, what was my reverse parallel parking? Oh, you need more practice with your reverse parallel parking. You need to to, to memorize the steps. <laughs> You seem like you don't have any steps you're following, you're just guessing, <laughs> which is alright, but you, you, it's, it makes it easier if you can have some kind of steps. Okay. So like, did you do that, learn that Two with the instructor? Yeah, yeah, so you follow the same technique, memorize them and do it all the time, follow the steps. But you seem like you didn't, you weren't really following any steps there. Were you following any steps or just guessing? No, I was trying to. Try to. <laughs> yeah, it looked like you weren't following any steps. So like you, for example, your angle was too big. Um, mm. Yeah, so just maybe just work on that one. Uh, so I'll work on my reverse parallel park and I'm going to work, I'll work on my straight line reverse. Mm. So those two and then I'll work on changing lanes because mm. you don't want to be yeah. like shoulder checking while yeah. moving. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, that's yours. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so maybe let's swap seats and then I'll drop you back.